In this video, I'll talk about the process variations of VAT photopolymerization. In the schematic and in the uh, movie we, or video, we have seen um, one particular approach to curing. And in reality, or in practice, there are really three different approaches used uh, that I show on this slide. We have uh, the approach A listed on top, which is what we've just seen, but we also have um, the process B and C, and I'll talk a little bit about these. So in approach A, uh, we have the XY mirror, and it traces, se selectively cures the, um, the surface of the part onto the previous layers inside of a vat, and the platform is moving down. In uh, the schematic B, what you see is uh, a digital micromirror device that actually allows the laser to be pre-patterned into the pattern we need for one whole layer, and that whole surface of the layer is exposed at once and cured by that operation. And then in approach C, you see two lasers that hit uh, areas even below the surface, so we don't need any movement inside of the vet, no, no platform or uh, build platform, but we need two lasers uh, whose uh, beams hit at the same spot and only then we have enough photons and enough energy to initiate the curing, which is also called the two-photon approach. Uh, the approach A and B are widely used. Um, approach C has been mostly academic, but there have been a couple of cool approaches in the area of holographic 3D printing, so printing the whole uh, 3D volume at the same time, that we should all watch out. Another differentiator between the processes can be in the movement of the build platform. So build platform and platform move, build platform and build movement. What we see before was the bottom-up approach that we see here on the left. We have the build platform that's moving down as we're building the part and the uh, laser or energy source is tracing on the surface and the part is the, the 3D part as it's being built is submerged into the vat. The other approach is moving that upside down where we have the platform moving from the bottom of the vat upwards and the part is hanging by gravity <laughs> on the build platform and the exposure is done from the bottom. In this case, and that's very often the case, also with a DMD device, so we project a whole layer and um, we go through a coated glass light of some sort and we cure the resin right at the interface between the glass and the already existing part, so that gap is important. Here, the, um, uh, to to get enough energy in for the curing that we connect the new layer with the previous layer is very important. And the other thing that's very important is the flow behavior of the resin as it's going in that gap that starts to occur as the platform is moving up with the part and we create room for the next layer. We actually have uh, the photocurable resin uh, to flow into that gap and cover it completely, otherwise we would generate holes. So that's very important for, for that approach. It has shown to, to be uh, rather fast, and there's no developments that we talk uh, about in another video.